Hello world, welcome to the 95th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the third video in my Open Hab home automation playlist, and in today's video, I'm going to show the four types of uh, ways I plan on accessing and displaying my Open Hab home automation interface. So the first option that we're going to do is going to connect the Raspberry Pi 4 with Open Habian directly to the laptop uh, with an Ethernet cable. So let's check it out. Okay, so like I said, this is just the Raspberry Pi with Open Habian and it's connected directly to my laptop. And then if you saw from my previous video, we started Shane by going to openhab.8080 slash habpanel slash index html so we only have one widget so far and that is the time so this is my first option this is what I'll probably use for most of the coding um, and background that way it's quick and easy so the second option is to connect a Raspberry Pi 4 with the Raspbian operating software to uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 that I just showed you which has open Habian using an Ethernet cable and then connecting that to a TV using an HDMI adapter and so um, while we're doing this we can also use the Raspbian Pi software to access the IP address for our next option so let's check out this setup. Okay, so we have a um, open Habian loaded Raspberry Pi on the left connected to our Raspbian loaded Raspberry Pi using an Ethernet cable. And then this one with the red adapter right here, that's just an HDMI, the mini HDMI to normal HDMI so we can display it onto my TV. Okay, so now that we have the Raspberry Pi uh, loaded, we can go to uh, the terminal and then we can uh, go here and then you're going to type in lowercase hostname. and then space, dash, and capital I. And that's how you get your IP addresses in Linux. And the second IP address, yep, I don't think you can see it in the camera. So let's try to get closer. The second IP address should be this uh, second one that starts with 192. So that is your Raspberry Pi's IP address and we'll need that to access it wirelessly using our laptop. So that is the second option. So if we want to display it on our TV screen, the um, open hab, we can. And then you access it using uh, Chromium, which we're going to use. And now I don't have Shane lo loaded on the, uh, the server yet for all systems to access it. So right now it's just on my laptop. But you can still access the HAB panel here. And this is where we can load Shane from the server. So that's the second option that we can do. So if we have an interface that um, needs to be displayed on a TV somewhere, like in a bathroom or um, in our bedroom so we can see security cameras, that's one way we can do it right here. All right, so now that we have the IP address, we can go to our third option. So let's check that out. Okay, so now that we have the Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian operating system's IP address 
uh, we can now uh, access it using a remote desktop connection. So we have the Open Habian Raspberry Pi connected to the Raspbian um, Raspberry Pi and over Wi-Fi we can establish a remote desktop connection. So my IP address is already on there so I could just press connect. All right, so the default username is Pi, and I have already changed my password. So make sure you have watched, um, I'll leave a card up here for my Raspberry Pi uh, playlist. So make sure you watch all of those, because in the next option, we'll be using the 7-inch touchscreen, and I did a whole video on that. But um, I added my own password, so there we go. All right, and similar to the what you just saw uh, when it was hooked up to our TV, we can access the Raspberry Pi here by going to Chromium. Now this is a lot slower, so this probably won't be used very often, maybe only for testing purposes, but we can go to the Open Hab panel, and here we go and we can load chain um, using a panel from the server. So if you are trying to do this on the second option or the third option and going to open uh, have panel index doesn't work, try going to um, open hab semicolon 8080 um, start index and that will take you to the beginning where you can click on Hab Panel, and then you can load your own OpenHabian. So this is the third option, and I probably won't use this very often, like I said, except for testing services. So now let's go to the fourth option. Okay, so the fourth and final option is to hook up the seven inch touchscreen to the Raspberry Pi 4 with the Raspbian operating system which is hooked up to the Raspberry Pi 4 with OpenHavy. So I've covered this also in my Raspberry Pi playlist. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you should have seen a card previously, but we'll quickly go over the setup um, here now. Okay, so this is the back of our 7th inch uh, official Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Uh, you'll see a red connector on the 5 volt pin and a black connector to the ground and then the ribbon display cable. So that's what the back of the Raspberry Pi looks like or the Raspberry Pi touchscreen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to screw on the Raspberry Pi with Raspbian on it um, and hook it up. Okay so we have the Raspbian operating system loaded Raspberry Pi 4 connected to the Raspberry Pi touchscreen and the red goes to the very first pin on the outside that's the 5 volts the black goes on uh, pin 6 so I'm sorry the red goes on pin 2 so the one is closest to the circuit board one is on the out or two is on the outside all the evens are on the outside so red is hooked up to pin 2, uh, black is connected to pin 6, and then to the left you'll see the uh, ribbon cable connected to the display, and that is how you set up the touchscreen. I go much more in depth on the 7 inch touchscreen in one of my low quality, unfortunately, Raspberry Pi 4 videos, so make sure you check that out in that playlist. Okay, so we have our 7 inch touchscreen hooked up. And I'm hoping with a better YouTube camera that you can see it. So that is our 7 inch touchscreen. And this is just like the other ones where you, we can go to the Chromium. Okay, and then we can click the hat panel.
There you go. Welcome to the hat panel. So we can click there. And this is where we can load Shane or your whichever one you created from a server. And that's the seven inch touch screen. So this one we will probably use a lot. Um, I don't know if we're going to have multiple ones in different places, but I know probably in your living room where you have a bunch of widgets that you would normally control via touch screen. Uh, I would like my home automation system to be voice activated too, so which may minimize some of these uh, touch screens. But I would imagine if we had, uh, you know, a security camera go off, that the camera feed would show up into our touch screen. That would be another useful. So I imagine the two places I would use the most is accessing it um, connected to little TVs like a monitor. So option two, and then this option right here, the seven inch touchscreen. So thanks for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching me build my own home automation system using OpenHab, or how I plan on integrating Shane, my Python control digital assistant into this. Um, thanks for watching, please like the video. Um, I don't have a studio, we just moved into our new house, so I apologize if this video skips and is kind of janky. Thanks for watching. Goodbye world.